we come to the monastery, because we see there's a happiness that comes in being good, in doing good things. As the Buddha once said to the monks, don't be afraid of acts of merit. The word act of merit is another word for happiness. And this happiness is not like the happiness of the world. The happiness of the world is based on what? Gain, status, praise, pleasures. But with gain and status, you may gain, but somebody else has to lose. When you get praised, someone else feels diminished by the praise. A lot of the pleasures you gain means that, mean that somebody else has to endure pain. So those kinds of happiness create divisions. Whereas the happiness of generosity, the happiness of virtue, the happiness of developing goodwill in the mind, goodwill for all beings. Who is harmed by those things? Everybody benefits. You create good karma for yourself. You have a sense of self-worth. Your mind gets more expansive. And the people who are the recipients of your generosity. They're made happy too. The people that you don't harm because you're virtuous. They can sense safety coming from you. And of course, goodwill. You bring goodwill into a situation. It changes the situation. Quite a bit. Just thoughts of goodwill, a real attitude of goodwill. Thinking, may these beings be happy. Put that in your head every time you go into a room with their people, or every time you encounter somebody. May this person be happy. May these people be happy. They may not, <coughs> they may not be conscious of the effect, but the effect is there. It changes the atmosphere. So when we look for happiness in this way, it's a happiness that spreads around. It actually creates harmony rather than destroying it. It heals over divisions rather than creating them. If the whole world found happiness in these ways, the human world would be a much better world than it is now. But we can't wait for everybody else. These things have to start with us, right here, right now, inside the mind and going from the mind out through our actions. Because this is a happiness that originates deep in the mind, its effects go deep into the mind as well. And as they spread around, they go straight to the heart of other people, too. So as the Buddha would give his Dharma talks, he would urge, rouse, encourage, and instruct. So urge yourself to really appreciate merit. Arouse yourself to do it. Instruct yourself in the various ways that you can be more meritorious in your actions. And encourage yourself and encourage others in this direction. That way your inner conversation becomes a useful part of the practice. and not just a dissipation of your energies. It focuses your energies in the direction where they really do give good benefits. <laughs>